previously have introduced some historical background, some basic concepts like command mode, insert mode, and some um, operations of inserting text, deleting text, copying text, pasting text, going to lines, writing files, quitting editation, and uh, things like that, basic stuff. Today we will talk about searching and replacing text. The basics I have written down here and which I will simply demonstrate and um, we will start by using Classic VI to edit the C source code file main.c which is now open and now the thing I want to do is I want to rename the function test to something else. So what I am looking for is the word test. And um, as you can see, um, the word test is occurring in this function name test, which is used here again, exactly test but also it is occurring in some other instances like this here. So um, I, first of all, I want to start at the top of the file. So I'm using X mode and type in a line address. The address is one. I type enter and it takes me to the first line. Now I want to search. I type in command mode the slash command, the slash key. And now I am in search mode. Now I search for test. And indeed, here I am. Now I know I want to rename test to test 2. Okay, that's very interesting. <laughs> I will append the number 2 at the function name. Okay. I could also have done this shorter. I undo this. I again go to the first line. I start searching for test. I am at the word test and now I type a single W which will take me to the next, the first character after the current word. Um, and uh, now I'm at the right place to do what I want. I enter insert mode, type 2, and I'm done. I have renamed test. Now, as you can see here, this is begin search mode. I, everything I type afterwards is the search. If I type N in command mode, the last search will be repeated. Now if I type N here, it will take me to the next test. And I can see I'm at the wrong instance of test. I type N again. Now this is a proper instance. This is the function name. The word test alone. And I know I have to rename it in the same way. So I type W, taking me to the next character after the word. Go to insert mode, type the two, and I'm done. And now, just to make sure, I type test and, oh, I see, here it is used again. I type W and as you can see it takes me to the first character in the next word. This is a bit awkward because now I have to move back, insert the two there. And I'm done. I check the next. Okay, this is a wrong match. I don't want to rename this or this. I want to rename this W insert to escape. Okay. And the remaining remaining matches are wrong as well. Okay. So now I have exactly renamed everything that was test before to test two and everything that just contained test is not renamed. It's still test underscore p 
and this should work. Let's try. I write the result. And now I finish the editor and I compile the resulting source code file. Seems to work. I can also execute it and it does stuff. Okay. So um, this is um, okay, but um, actually um, it's a bit um, awkward to do these uh, replacements all by hand. So as you can see here, there is a command that can do this for me, in a way. First of all, I want to have everything that now is called test2 be called test again. I type the column and now I can type in an x command. Now if I type in the x command s for search and replace, type in a slash, then my test2 slash again, then the test and again the slash, mm, that will do nothing because it only operates on the current line. As I have written here, if I want to have it operate on a specific line, then I either can say do this on the fourth line, so I type colon, I am in X mode, I type the four, operate on the fourth line, and do S test two into test. Do that. And that has been done. And if I want to have it on every line, then I can use a special line address, the percent sign. I can type colon for x mode, the percent sign for all lines. It's a special line address. It means do that what I write now on all lines. And I write now s for search and replace, a slash followed by the string I want to search, a slash followed by the string I want it to be replaced with, finishing slash. Done. There is a danger because um, actually as you can see if I do it with a different example the reverse as you can see in the result only the first match on the line has been replaced. And that's exactly what S does, the S command. It takes the first match, replaces it, and is done. I undo this, and as you can see, by pressing the U key, I have undone the entire class operation, the entire search and replace operation on all lines. I can use a modifier to the S command. I enter X mode. Do this on all lines. Search and replace. Test with test2. Terminating slash. And now I use a modifier to the S command. G for global. Global means all of the matches should be replaced. And if I do that, then now everything that previously was test is now test 2. As you can see, <coughs> while this is very fast, uh, there is the problem that I really now have renamed everything to test 2, not only the function. Um, that's a bit sad. Um, there is the possibility to circumvent that problem by using regular expressions. Um, regular expressions are a bit of a subject on their own and uh, I cannot demonstrate them really good in this introduction to the VI text editor, although they are very important. Mm, I will simply do an example to show you what I mean. Um, if I undo this and instead of doing the static text replacement, 
use a regular expression. Then, as you can see now, a different replacement has been taking place, but it went a bit wrong. What I have done is, on all lines, search and replace test that is not followed by an underscore by test2. But there's a problem if I do that then it will replace the next character that is not an underscore with nothing. It's lost. And that's a bit sad. So um, I either, in simple cases, could resort to manual searching and replacing Or I could learn more about regular expressions and try if I cannot sort this out somehow. But that's again a subject on its own. For now it's okay to be able to replace static text. For example, what I can do now is I can rename main to main2 on all lines, every instance, and I can also replace int with float. Huh. <laughs> and, well, it's getting funny, but that's um, left as an exercise to you um, to make the most out of it. And um, <coughs> everything else I consider not introduction, but more like an ex ex advanced uh, subject. Now, if you write me as a comment whatever you would like to hear about as an advanced subject, then why not make another little session about it? Uh, by now, I think I'm done. And um, I think you will find your way along now in the VI text editor. And uh, that's it. Goodbye. Uh-oh. I think I messed it up.